Welcome to another edition of Animantober. <laughs> and today, as always, I am Zach, joined as always by my good buddy Travis. Oh, where are the beanies? Oh! It's beanie weather. That's right. And as always, the incomparable Nick. Oh! <laughs> what are we watching? I was debating on this one a lot, but we're watching Monster. He went to the store he to die. get milk. Hey, look, it's a sword. That's a T, dummy. No, it's a sword. It's called Monster. So it's called Mon Sword, sir? Monster. The sword is silent. But well, you know, it's supposed oh. to be there. It's a French film. It's New Wave. Oh, Monster. Yeah, Monster. If Nick showed the first episode to the live action Cowboy Bebop, would that count? No, it's not anime. Well, anime adaptation. It's a live action. People consider Avatar an anime, though. That's actually animation. Like some anime. people don't consider it to be an anime. It was animated by a company in Korea. So maybe. You got some gets our Korean counterparts. No, didn't I just say so? Maybe. <laughs> well, I don't we know, watched, that's kind of sucks. We sauce. watched the King's Avatar, which came from China. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe Avatar China. would count. A neurosurgeon, huh? Doctor Strange. I hope not. I don't like Doctor Strange. Like oh, they f***ing. Yeah, that's his wife. How do you know that? Have you seen this? No, they, wasn't there a picture of those two? Or was it some other chick? Uh, could they be. could be siblings. Yes, that's messed up. But you want anime. that, wouldn't you? No, With my kiss ex sis Nick Shut Pick. up! Rosenbach. So he, he, did, he did surgery on a governor, I'm guessing? Mm -hmm. Guess so. A very important person. That's why it took six hours. And that's also why it was a success. Sing again? So he's got a voice of a god. That's why he's a political powerhouse. And so we shall go to war again for the third time. We should win. Shut up, Elmo. But, but I think they said that he did heart surgery too. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was a uh, artery. She has just a natural, mean-looking face. Yeah. It's called resting. Oh! Oh, they f***ing! You still want to go out on that date? Or should we just... <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of hungry. Can we really go on the date? You become successful? Don't forget about good old Becker. I'll buy you a drink now. Don't forget about Becker and his little packer. I'll see you in Bavaria, yeah? I'll order you uh, lots of drinks from uh, Oktoberfest, yeah, yeah. So anything exciting happened at work, honey? Yeah, I had to call the police to arrest this woman who kept, you know, harassing me. Something about me not saving her husband. I don't know. He's freaking dead. Who cares? <laughs> oh, God. It's that resting bitch face. It's kind of a Well, she, she is the director's daughter. Let's just say, she, he's not the first dude she's blown tonight. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> Seriously, she <laughs> just looks naturally mean. looks mean. Oh, is that the chick? Is that it the, the opera singer? The opera singer? 
bitch chick. That looks like a little girl. Or a wife. Yeah, it looks like a girl. That's not oh, a human being. It's Look. the opera singer. Is it the opera singer? He had a boy, a girl, a wife, and him. Okay. No, 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 Juicy, just, you know, whatever you do, just, you know, hide the evidence. I'll stuff it in my fridge. And I'll ditch the sniper rifle. Oh, man, you gotta at least pawn back. <laughs> How much can I get for this? The uh, highest I could do is 350 euro. I killed an opera singer with it. Well, uh, then the price is gonna buy it. So that's the director. He's got that generic guy of power. Okay, okay, so this guy's from Japan. When you first arrived here in Germany, I thought you were a high school student. <laughs> I thought you were a high school student. I made a big mistake there. When I was blowing the other dude, and I saw you walk by on the street, I said, I'm gonna that little boy's brains out. And then yeah. I realized you're did an adult. Did she say that or did she say it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't bite, don't bite. It's the one of the most critical condition usually. Yeah. In any case, I do want you to work on. But like the other doctor said, you know, the hospital is uh, run by politics. Yeah. You know, I used to think it was run on money, but now I know it's run on politics. Basically the same thing. He's having a panic attack. Uh, you okay, sir? Last time I took a fucking Uber. <laughs> if you need it, I know a chick that can blow your brains out or cool you right off. So great. Here, let me send you her number. That's my girlfriend's number. Oh, God. You're a lucky guy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Lord. Is that the director? No. That's, a, that's not a nurse. The director can't be in there. He's not a doctor. Oh, that's the other doctors. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. This chick with rusty face is blowing me at the back. Is this the other twin? Yeah, this is the twin that got shot. Right. Ooh. Yeah, apparently he's still alive, they're just a... Uh... Oh, there you are, Doctor. Yes. Listen. You shouldn't be here. You're needed in operating room one immediately. F*** off! Oh, God, I just saw some f***ed up. So he saves the mayor, right? That's not, not... It's Hitler. Oh, God. <laughs> that would be fun. What a twist. <laughs> Turn around. Go back to the boy. Tell the director he can stick it. Tell the director he can go f his f daughter. Okay, maybe don't tell him that. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm glad he f took the kid over the f Oh my god. We don't know what kind of mayor he is. We don't know his politics. Watch, he doesn't save the kid and the mayor dies too. Realistically, in hospital. Then you'll have to think, man, if he did do the mayor, at least that would have been one life saved. In, in ERs and stuff like that, if the, like how he was about to perform in that, they cannot take that doctor. They cannot take him. Yeah, no, no, yeah. The minute those gloves are sterilized, that's their room. They have to take the other one. That's why they have multiple doctors on standby. So that was the first episode of Monster. Monster. Oh my gosh. Uh, Travis, can you explain the plot? Uh, so we get this doctor who came from Japan to Germany to be world-class neurosurgeon, and he finds out that the f***ing hospital, poli hospital is intertwined with politics and it f***ing sucks because now he basically is like being thrown in to save all these politicians rather than saving the people who are in critical condition. I mean, not saying that politicians are in critical condition, but it's basically taking the rich over basically the, the, the f***ing the farm animals, basically. I do have to add on for this most critical part of that episode. His girlfriend's not a whore. She's not, but she does have resting face. Fantastic lips. <laughs> does it work for you, Travis? It does. Nick? It definitely works for me. I was actually entertained the whole way through. Like most things, like if it comes to live action shows with like hospitals and doctors, I can't really watch it. But I was able to watch that one. 
No problem. Mm -hmm. Being Gar's voice helps a lot too. Uh, it works for me as well. I thought it was really good. Who's your favorite character, Travis? The Doctor. He seems like a very interesting character with, um, who does, looks like he does have good morals and he, you know, he decides to go with his, he, he acts on his morals. And, you know, not a lot of anime characters do that. A lot of anime characters will be like, okay, time to go help the mayor. You know, that's what my boss said. No, he, this guy was like, you know, f the job. I need to do the right thing. Nick? The doctor, definitely the doctor. I like that his moral compass, at first it wasn't there because he wasn't aware of how everything's going because he just transferred, but he's bright. And then the lady, the Turkish lady, that we'll never know her name, but just Turkish lady. Fair lips. <laughs> she uh, she kind of brought like to light that he could have actually saved the life of somebody else too. And that the surgery, you can kind of tell also in the, the surgery that he did on the opera singer wasn't as major as the other one would have been. So that's kind of like his dilemma was for with the kid, where it was more critical than the other person where another doctor that's competent could do work on the mayor, and he's like, I'm the only one that could save this kid. Uh, I agree with you guys. The main guy's my favorite character. I think he made the right choice in the end. And there are people like that where they're, you know, they get some flack for something that happened that wasn't necessarily their fault, but they still feel this sense of guilt. Because it's like, oh, if only they were there, they could have, you know, done the right thing. The thing that sucks with the hospital, too, is if you're able to do it, like you say, like, you have a doctor's appointment, you go in, but you need a major surgery, they'll make you sign waivers and stuff, too, in case something happens. But when you're in the emergency room, you're already, it's going downhill fast, so they have to do that anyway, so it's still a gamble anyways. So, it doesn't always work out, that's the thing. But he took he gets to flack anyways because he's so bright and young so on a scale of one to five uh doctor gloves lips, lips? <laughs> why because she had good lips bjs all right you want to have bj brew house <laughs> oh, BJ brew on a scale of one to five bjs the brew house yes how would you rate this travis I, I was I was really um five for the first draft beer five for that first I was nervous because when I was picking these episodes I wanted to find something you know October is very scary ish um, and I was a little worried because I honestly was like man I don't know like it sounds scary but like a little bit of me was just like it, it didn't feel scary mm. but I'm still gonna give this episode a solid five because I fully enjoyed it, start to finish. I was really entertained. Uh, I liked the concept that was going through with this guy and his moral compass, and I like the I, I like the idea that there are actions and consequences. Uh, Nick, I want to give it a five. I enjoyed it, but I'm gonna give it a four point five. Mm. It was it was almost there for me. I enjoyed it. But I don't want to give it that five just yet. Uh, I'm gonna give it a three. I thought it was good. Oh, you must have been the Turkish girlfriend or wife. Oh, sorry that Travis here had to save that opera singer. You did good. You did good, by the way. You did good. No, people like you that make my doctor here the best of the thing have to like make more of it. Shame on you. Swag. And don't say too much. Don't say three too much. Three out of five yeah. is good. <laughs> Three out of five. It was good. All right, and now it is time for the scary meter. Like <laughs> How would you rate this, Travis? Uh, I'll give it a one. Just a one. Was Sorry, I've, I've gotta, I've gotta take you to um a different hospital. It, I so I know I, I said that for for uh, my my uh, happy sugar life that like this is like it's scary because like so that real, real shit like that can happen real shit like this can happen too which is scary but they weren't really hyping up the like the scare factor in, in, in the in this particular episode. it's a good episode but I don't think it's actually scary scary and this is probably my personal rating also kind of like getting in there as well because I. 
I don't feel like this was scary, but it was good. It was good. I still really enjoyed the anime. Nick? As someone who's been in the hospital, it's been lots of surgeries, and no stuff like that can't happen, where it's every time you do a surgery, anything can happen, bad happen, will, could happen too, potentially there's always that and thing. Even if the, it's the best doctor in the world, things can go south real quick. I'm going to give it a six, just because of that, I've been in a situation where I've had to go under a knife. Mm -hmm. So, to me, for personal reasons, that's actually kind of scary. I'm giving it a one. It was not scary at all. For me, it was more sad. Because like Travis said, stuff like this can, on him. can and unfortunately probably does happen. But unlike Happy Sugar Life, where those are like sick, twisted psychopaths, this one is just more of politics being selfish, greedy politics. Which isn't scary to me, it's just more upsetting. Alright guys, well, that's another another month of anime and Tober in the books. We're not done yet. We're not? Yeah, we got a Halloween special. <gasps> no. Yeah. Anyway, that's next time. All that stuff is next time. In the meantime, I'm Zach, signing off as always with my good buddy Travis. Uh, yeah, going into the yard. And the incomparable Nick. Uh, you were going to the ER, but I need you over in that room over there. F*** this guy. F*** you. And we will see you, you guys next time.